again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Mixed Media. Today we are going to play with Mermaid Mist. We have Jellyfist, Wave, and Seaweed from Brutus Monroe. And I'm going to show you my little swatch book. It has some shimmer in it, so ooh, it's so pretty. I pull out my binder punch right there as well and I'm going to go ahead and create a strip. Um, and I am once again using... My Coco Vanilla Studios Sunkiss collection. Uh, I have a problem hoarding collections that I love, and this happens to be one of them. So I have challenged myself to create a layout with that once a week, and <laughs> I'm very um, conservative with it, just so you know. <laughs> so even though I am using it, I'm using it in moderation because once I run out of it, I'll cry. I'm not gonna lie. I also pull in this beautiful floral paper. I'm going to cut that into a six inch strip, which I do come in later and cut it down once again. But that's okay because I keep it, I am keeping it all kitted together. So now I had seen a layout, a video, um, it was quite some time ago where someone had done this technique. I think, I want to say it could have been Missy Witten, but it was it was a while ago. Uh, if I can find the video, I will link it down below to the creator. They just basically took and rolled up some of these edges. Now I do come in later with some um, liquid adhesive because the tape runner just isn't holding it. Uh, but I do like the way it looks. And I'm just going to... See, I keep trying to get it to stick, but it's not going to, which is okay. And I'm going to just pop of that beautiful rainbow piece right underneath it and get it all nice and neat on there. Now I do have two pictures of my stepdaughter. I want to apologize if you can hear my husband. I am in my bedroom doing voiceovers and he is on the porch and where there's basically just a window and a wall between us and he <laughs> he's making noise and I think he's kind of doing it on purpose if you want to know him because that's who he is as a person. <laughs> so... <laughs> Because uh, I was trying to do a voiceover outside on the porch and he kept coming out and I was like, stop it. He was like, I can come outside. <laughs> anyway, this is two pictures of my stepdaughter at uh, Universal Studios in front of a Woody Woodpecker. And she's got her cute little sunglasses on and she's looking all model -esque. So she's looking very uh, vogue. That's the... So she looked all cute. Anyway, so um, they are kind of the same picture, but not really. So we're just going to scrapbook both of them for this layout today. I'm going to mat it in that other scrap from Coco Vanilla Studios. And I am going to ink the edge with um, black soot. And I got it all over. So uh, in hindsight, I really like my white nails. Uh, not so good for mixed media and paper crafting, just so you guys know, because... Um, every they're like multicolored half the time and I'm like oh man <laughs> but that's okay because I'm getting my nails done this week with my mom so I'm going to come in now and kind of figure out where I want this piece to go I'm going to make the bottom portion basically one big mixed media of all of those uh, you know those uh, mermaid mists from Burgess Monroe and I did gesso the page because I don't want it to soak in. I want it to run because I have a plan. So I'm going to grab my messy box, my little splatter box right there. Um, I have two of them that I use. And then once they get gross, I just get rid of them and use another one. This is what my close to my heart orders come in and my Echo Park. So they're a constant in my room. So I put a fair amount of the wave and seaweed on and then I'm going to come in with the jellyfish and just do some splatters and then off screen it had so much liquid on it when I turned it up it started to run and that was beautiful now my son is going to get loud in the other room oh man I need a new place to scrap and do my voiceovers I need a whole like house for that so as you've seen there I went ahead and put my cluster back on it and it was not wide enough so I thought maybe I can just do some splatters and then alas I decide no I really really like I put the splatters on the runny part and when I tried to, I didn't like it so when I tried to wipe it up it left marks you know like from where like little circles so I'm like you know what let's just do it again right 
So we are going to get a whole bunch more mixed media on there. And I'm going to show you the process of how I made it look like one big swipe of color. All right, so I'm going to come in. And because it's going to run quite a lot, I'm just going to grab my rag. And I'm just going to set it up. Now I have a bit of a shelf that sits, and you're going to see that in a minute. I'm, I just set the paper up on the shelf and let it run onto the rag. I am going to come in with a water bottle and just help it run a smidge. I did not do that the first time because I didn't need to, but this time I just like the way, there you go. I apologize for the shake, but you can see the way that the colors are mixing and I am just throwing some purple at it now. Good thing is that that glass board studio's glass mat is easily cleaned up. So that is how I like make it look like a big swipe of color. And now it's all done. And you can totally see like the little hints of purple from where I threw the splatters. And okay, if you heard that noise, that was my son. I had to get up and walk to his room. So I decide there was just that one little bitty piece right there that I was like, oh, but it's okay because I fix it. Uh, I'm going to just pull up the cluster. Now I do use my ATG for temporary hold and the liquid glue there for permanent hold because there is gesso and tons of mixed media on the page. I do forget that I need to add some glue in this area. And I get a lot of glue in there because gesso and mixed media, sometimes things just don't want to hold. So I get it nicely adhered down. Now I had gesso on the page, guys. That's how much mixed media I used. Yeah, it soaked through, which is kind of cool on its own. Like that's pretty cool looking too, but I like the shimmery. So I'm just going to trim off the little bits and pieces on both sides. And it is put together. Now we are going to come in and we are going to embellish. So I'm going to embellish this entire area down here where all the mixed media is. Um, I am using liquid glue even on the stickers because, like I said, mixed media at gesso. Uh, sometimes things just don't want to stick. So I come in with a whole bunch of different colors so that I can pull all of the different colors from the top. And I do decide that I need to put some at the top as well. So I'm going to just start sticking some of those in there. And just some little wordy bits. And a whole bunch of fun little things from the collection. Um, that one says something about cool or something. And since she has her sunglasses on, I thought it was perfect. I have um, just getting a little bit more on there. So I will have a link to my Facebook group below if you would like to see all the fun stuff that we do. I'm also hosting a class at the end of October. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you would like to participate in that, just go ahead and shoot me a message. And I will also have my affiliate link to the Brutus Monroe website if you would like to pick up any of these fabulous Brutus Monroe products. I do have a several close-ups so you can see how fabulous that is. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.